Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about one of the oldest um, legendary infantry heroes, uh, which is Nika. Uh, whenever you are starting the game, there is like a couple of legendary heroes which you can access, uh, which are in the gold chest until you're gonna get some lucky spins and such as uh, necessary events to get a, another hero. So Nika is one of the heroes which you can generally get from the gold uh, chests. And it's actually to uh, add more skills with the heroes which are in the gold chest, simply because uh, gold keys are one of the most popular event rewards in the game. So, in order for beginners and even for already veterans uh, who are playing the game, um, I take myself as a veteran and even though I'm not an infantry main, I kinda understand uh, how Nika works because I have seen uh, players uh, playing with Nika too much times. So, let's not uh, waste too much time and let's dive in in Nika's uh, play kit and I will show you for example, I have even 101 tokens as a free-to-play player and uh, like I am a marksman main, that's why I'm not investing in Nika. But I understand what Nika's uh, strengths are and by the progressing through seasons in Call of Dragons, I like uh, Nika more and more than it was before. Uh, before Nika was primary as a uh, secondary legendary hero, especially with Madeline, uh, but uh, since the progress progression of the game, uh, Nika got a lot more uh, to offer to the game than just secondary hero. The main uh, thing about Nika is that uh, the talent of the skill uh, is one of the best talents in order for you to deal damage, doesn't matter which uh, legion type you are. Uh, in order for us to understand why Nika is, is still uh, getting some use, uh, we need to understand the, her skills. Uh, first skill, uh, skill damage factor 1500 and the HP reduction 30%. 30% is a lot and from the skill damage factor 1500 for infantry hero is a big amount. That's why I think uh, like by one skill I can understand that it's more damage type of uh, hero. Uh, the second skill is useless for fighting, it's only for uh, against the Darklings and Dark Creatures, 30% uh, peacekeeping the skill, which is one of the weakest points of Nika's play kit in my opinion. The third skill is infantry unit physical attack, 20% uh, and infantry unit march speed bonus. I would like uh, you guys to remember the march speed bonus because that's a new addition to the uh, Nika's playstyle currently. The fourth skill is hero skill damage, 10% uh, and counter attack damage, 20%. Well, basically, with the skills we already can understand that uh, Nika is not about defense or staying alive, Nika is about dealing as much damage as fast as possible. Uh, with the skill damage, with the talent tree of the skill, uh, it's already obvious. Also, Awakening, I know for a free-to-play players, it's not easy to awaken legendary uh, heroes and I would not recommend to awaken legendary hero if you are not maining it. Uh, when Nika's Legion launch a normal attack, they have a 50% chance to deal damage if the target has a fewer than 50% unit remaining. Uh, the damage factor is 500. Well, again, not a defensive awakening skill, offensive. So Nika is all about offense, uh, like only HP reduction, that's even offensive skill, right? And there is nothing defensive about this legendary hero uh, in the play kit. Uh, regarding like talents, I, I already mentioned skill talent is um, always all about offense, no, like zero defense and uh, you are trying to deal as much damage as possible and with the Nika's play kit, uh, the skills, uh, it's pretty obvious that skill talent tree is the main one here, uh, like every time your legion casts a rage kill they deal 0.5 more hero skill damage up to maximum of 8%. Again, uh, skill damage factor talents, some rage factor talents, right, whenever, for example, when you're casting rage skill your legion deputy deals 8% more damage to next uh, time they cast a rage skill. So, like, it's all about casting as much first skill, uh, rage skill, right? and you are getting a lot of benefits out of the talents uh, of Nika. 
for the artifacts, um, uh, the artifact is another way uh, of uh, getting out of uh, your hero more and more. Uh, but in my opinion, Nika is still uh, more popular uh, as a secondary hero and artifacts doesn't really matter um, whenever we are speaking about uh, secondary heroes. But let's say you just starting the game, you just unlocked Nika and you want to have uh, Nika as the primary because you don't have anyone else. Uh, in that way, like again, more of an offensive uh, type of artifacts will be uh, good for Nika, like such as Spring of Silence, it's an infantry unit attack, legion attack, uh, physical damage factor, uh, like uh, damage targets are slowed, march speed slow is 20% for 10 seconds. You are fast because Nika has a uh, march speed bonus uh, in his skills and you are slowing the enemies which means you're gonna deal more damage if you don't have spring of silence you can always go for dragon rift it's uh, like primary uh, better uh, legendary artifact for other infantry hero but if you have a dragon rift you can always use it it's not easy to get every single artifact for a free to play player uh, in this game uh, let's say you don't have any legendary artifacts well there is one uh, uh, choice currently butcher's blade uh, soon we're gonna get more infantry uh, epic artifacts in the game and then we're gonna have a more choices for your Nika. Um, like I always speak about uh, artifacts which we can get uh, as a free to play players from universal artifact compendium like from the keys uh, from the events uh, that's a different topic now what's the most important the hero pairs for uh, Nika as I said the Nika is one of the oldest legendary heroes in the game and uh, it's at first at first couple of seasons Nika got popular by being secondary to uh, Madeline um, simply because Madeline is was also the first infantry damage dealer um, uh, legendary hero that's why Nika and uh, Madeline was like obvious choice everybody was running it right uh, after the introduction of uh, Goresh and Skolgul uh, Nika's popularity of course went down because Madeline's popularity went down uh, but after some time uh, Nika got another hero pair which is Skolgul and uh, Nika um, like you can run uh, you should run Skolgul as a primary you're gonna get mobility uh, talent tree uh, and uh, uh, by the uh, buff of uh, Nika, which is infantry unit march speed bonus 10%, you are moving around the battlefield like you are a cavalry unit. Uh, like I have seen it, terrified players do it, that they, uh, they are having like uh, cavalry marches and Skolgul and Nika. They just run like a train, uh, so it's easy to maneuver around the battlefield and it's easy uh, for you to have more additional fun. That's a pretty weird hero pair, but it actually works. Uh, they are Their march speed is too high because of mobility tree of Skolgul, but if you of course want to uh, deal more damage uh, with this uh, hero pair, you can run Nika as a primary and go the skill tree, because skill tree uh, is the greatest, right? Uh, let's say you don't have Madeline, you, let's say you don't have uh, Skolgul or uh, like any other infantry and you just have uh, uh, Garwood and um, uh, Nika, that's the only two infantry legendary heroes which you can get from the gold chests. Uh, like Garwood would run, I would run Garwood as a primary and Nika as a secondary if I don't have any other choices. Uh, that's the uh, two legendary heroes which we actually get from the gold chests and uh, we always have to mention the players who are starting the game uh, just now. Uh, other than that, um, like what's left to speak is about um, warpets and it's pretty obvious any warpet uh, uh, like generally for infantry legendary heroes and infantry heroes warpits are mm, uh, mainly bears uh, and actually mm, uh, for Madeline uh, simply because uh, uh, warpit is again for the primary hero uh, and uh, I was running Madeline with frost bear and Madeline and uh, Nika is a great hero pair and uh, Madeline is giving us uh, some shields and this frost armor is about shields but actually uh, venomous lizard why not that's an overall type of uh, uh, war pet and uh, venomous lizard is all about ticking damage right and uh, more damage you're gonna deal with nika is great you can even run f uh, tribe bear because of healing if you want to have some healing well generally for infantry heroes any bear is uh, viable depending on your gameplay 
that's why I don't have like exact uh, uh, warped which gonna work on Niga's legions, uh, but it, simply because it depends on your uh, gameplay. If you want to deal more damage, uh, like there is some uh, lizards. If you want to be more tanky and you are running with Madeline, you're gonna go with Frostbear. Uh, if you are running with uh, Garwood, uh, Striper will be for Garwood. So like again, lot of uh, ways of utilizing the warpeds in this game. So. There is not exact answer of which uh, one warped is great, like, or for example, in my opinion, only Nitrock and Cendrion is a perfect pair, uh, because Sapphire Fair Drake is working with many mages, right? And like Snow Peak Rock, same, it's great with Nico and Kinara, but can be uh, played with many more legendary heroes. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak about Nika, it's pretty basic. Um, legendary hero but because of Skolgul and Nika's new edition uh, of the hero pairs which is viable it got way more fun that's why I decided to speak uh, about Nika which I actually have not done before that that's was I think the uh, one of the oldest legendary heroes which I have never spoken uh, so yeah it, like pretty cool character with a like kinda specific build uh, skill talent tree is obviously great, some movement speed, uh, just one movement speed buff gave us another hero pair with Kolgul, which they are running like a cavalry units. Uh, as always, if you enjoy the content I'm making and if you enjoy uh, like my viewpoints about the game, uh, like, subscribe, share, uh, it always gives me more motivation to continue to do more videos about Call of Dragons because this, this game is all about fun. I understand there are a lot of pay to win players in this game, uh, but uh, I'm showing you that even not spending in the game, can you, you can get a lot of uh, fun out of this game. Um, I hope you are having an amazing day, night or morning, uh, whenever you are. I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.